Hi, I'm Dr. Alex Ford. I'm a reader in biology and I'm based here at the Institute of Marine Sciences, University of Portsmouth. Scientists have recently discovered in the last couple of years that there is a species of shrimp that's come over from the Ponto Caspian region, which has entered our rivers and is, is moving out throughout the tributaries of our rivers and our canal network. And it is outcompeting and eating some of our native shrimp. I've got an example on the screen here where we have this is our invasive shrimp, this one here. Uh, and uh, it's been given the term demon shrimp and, um, and it's very closely related to another shrimp which people may have known about called killer shrimp. Uh, it's, a, it's a close relative and they are depleting all the numbers of our native shrimp, this one here which is called Gamorous pulex and uh, we're particularly worried whether once that invasion takes place whether it will affect the food chain in some way and somehow deplete uh, numbers of fish or maybe some other organisms involved in that food chain. One of the questions that we really, really would like to answer is whether these shrimp are bringing with them any parasites or have they left any of the parasites in their native habitat which might enable them to do very well in our environment. One of the other questions on the flip side we would like to answer is whether any of our native parasites pass their parasites onto these uh, alien species. Depending on the parasite species it can tell us a lot about how it's integrating in the food web. For instance, some parasites need to go through several hosts. They may go through a snail, into a crustacean, and then eventually end up in a bird or a fish. If our alien species hold some of these parasites, it might give us an indication that they're getting integrated within our food webs. If they don't have those parasites, it, it may suggest, suggest there's a gap in that food chain, and there may be implications in the way that energy is transferred through these food chains. The worst case scenario is it, it might eradicate some of our native species. Now some may argue if it slots in exactly where the native species is in a way that the native species used to be involved in the food chain, why should we worry? But that is one of the unknowns. We simply don't know whether it does simply slot into the food chain where the other one was before or whether it occupies slightly different parts of that food chain.